gentlemen, once again, Stadium Super Trucks coming out here. The Speed Energy Stadium Super Trucks as they get ready to compete for their second moto here. If you're uh, if you're in the grandstands, I promise you, you're in for a great treat. Starting off on the pole will be the number 1776. He brings one million plus fans to the table. An incredible following on Facebook. This is Cletus McFarland. Alongside Cletus will be a longtime veteran here of the series, his ninth season. Sponsored by Mastermind, this is Bill Hines from Nazareth, Pennsylvania. We go back to row number two. The Tootsie's Orchid Lounge entry has competed in all three of NASCAR divisions, including uh, four starts in IndyCar, representing the F-26 number out of Bishop, California. This is Stanton Barrett. On the inside of row number two, she made her debut in 2020 at Road America. The Formula 4 ace finished just outside of the top five at Mid-Ohio, driving the ARRC LED. Number 21, Artisan Springwater entry. This is Zoe Eden home. We go back to road number three. He came in here as the points leader, had a tough round, was in third place one day ago on the last lap in the last turn, got into an incident, ended up on his roof, and finished up deep in the pack. Robert Stout. Qualified on the pole here on Friday. Driving the number 28, Lucas Oil Continental Tires back machine. Right alongside will be a 13-year-old going into eighth grade. That's right, amazing driver. He's on the outside, of course, and uh, he'll be in that number 67 Holiday Rambler entry, an 11-time national karting champ. It is young, Ben Mayer. Then a two-time pro light champion. Also competes in Pro 2 now with four wins. Has also competed in Pro 4. A short course off-road player for sure out here getting it done. Has not been inside of one of these trucks since 2020. Great to have him back. Had a good showing one round to go. The number 51, sponsored by Zen Nicotine Pouches, Ryan Beat. Then it's Gavin Harlan. The number 55 truck is a solid player. Grabbed his second pole and 10th career win at Mid-Ohio. He is tied for second of the points coming into this weekend, hoping to take him over overall for sure. Fourth win in his driver in the history of the series, Gavin Harlan. Then the young, Max Gordon, 14 years of age, was in the thick of it one day ago. Two wins on the season. He's extremely fast, has really found his groove here this season. Put your hands together for the driver, the number 77 Continental Tire Speed UTV machine, Max Gordon. And your winner, one day ago, overall points leader coming in here, the three-time and reigning champ, also competed in Indy Lights a little bit earlier today. Put your hands together for the incredible Matty Brabham, driving the number 83 Continental Tires back machine. That's your lineup for the second moto, round six here of the Stadium Super Trucks. Everybody lined up here, ready to go. Explicit rules to take it easy here through the first turns. First and second, the last thing we want to see is a crash. Once they get them straightened out to head over the bridge, as Casey clears the wall here, they will turn them loose, gloves off, and it will be hardcore racing. Yesterday, a spectacular battle, uh, really back for third on back. Cletus McFarland with a heck of a run throughout the entire race. And boy, he had a bunch of hungry dogs right behind him. Cletus, a great guy, outstanding personality, made his debut at Long Beach, was about 50 yards away from his first win, had a tank slapper and bowled it up. He was laughing. He was a, he was a lot of fun, but he wants to close the deal here today. Waiting for the green flag here. It's out horizontal. The trucks with an LS power plant inside of them make about 650 horsepower. Green flag is out. 20 inches of travel in the front, 26 in the back. They are automatics. They have the three speed in them, and they also have a turning brake. Robert Stout in that red, white, and blue Continental Tire Lucas Oil back machine was the overall winner here one year ago. Cletus McFarland out to an early lead. Bill Hines right there behind him. Bill Hines, a winner back in 2018. Then it's Stanton Barrett. Zoe Edenholm for the ladies. She does a great job. Great to have her back out here. She gets more comfortable with the truck. Here comes Gavin Harlan already going underneath Ryan Beat a little bit deeper in the pack. A full field inversion based on their number of points from qualifying and 
round five that happened yesterday. Good shot right there through these left-handers. You see him articulate that left front tire way up in the air, courtesy of the torque of that LS. Ben Mayer right hand, problems for Stout right off the bat. Something happened to Stout's truck, checked up. You can see he pulled off to the right-hand side to get out of the way. And I don't know, it looks like he might be back under power, but he is clearly moving the steering wheel around. Something's, something's not correct inside of that truck. So it's going to be a brutal weekend for Stout. He was in third place yesterday. Max put a bumper on him, ended up on his lid, and in the K-rail. Cleet is still out front. Bill Hines in second. Looking for 11 laps here today. They'll run three and a half and a mandatory caution, three and a half and a mandatory caution. And then they will close it out with a three lap shootout. The Tootsie Orchid uh, machine. Great to have it out here again. And we talked about Stanton Barrett behind the uh, the wheel of the Tootsie Orchid Lounge number F26. And the F26, a special number there. It's part of Robbie Gordon's childhood hero as Mark and Shorty Fields were the two. And he really grew up watching Shorty Fields, who was just a, a town favorite, a great race car driver in that area and lost both of their lives there last year just after this event. So Stanton Barrett representing the F-26 here today on that Tootsie's truck. So one lap in the books here. Not much has changed here in the front. The players in the back with this full field inversion have to work their way forward. Cletus out there driving away from Bill Hines right now. Ben Mayer misses it just a little bit. And it looks like Stout is out of competition here today. What a shame. He was a points leader coming in here today. I'm sorry, coming in here this weekend. And now we'll lose a ton of points and be out of the hunt. Ryan B completely sideways, gets that thing gathered back up, somehow squeezes by the 67. Beat a fabulous driver. A lot of motocross background. Test rider for, I believe it was Kawasaki for a number of years, a ton of talent. Fields a number of trucks in the Champ Off-Road Series at this point. He's in that Zen Nicotine pouch. He's back number 51. Had a weekend off. Robbie Gordon gave him a call, said, hey, man, come over here and hop inside one of these trucks. Well, Ryan Beat, being the consummate race truck driver, said, absolutely, I'm in. Made the trip from North Carolina. And still, everybody knows the tail. Cletus out there driving away. And Cletus, absolutely a talented race car driver, hopped behind the wheel of one of these trucks and put it together pretty quickly for sure. Really good in the brake zones. Takes that thing really deep down into the brake zones. Makes it very difficult to pass it. Bill Hines stacking up the pack here just a little bit. Makes for a good show for us. Everybody knows the tail. Zoe wearing that back bumper out there of Bill Hines. Checked her up a little bit, and that opened up a door, an opportunity, I should say, for Ryan Beat. So Ryan Beat gets around Zoe. Zoe with a solid race here just one day ago as well. She's had three sixth place finishes pounding on the door for her first top five. As they go two and three wide, roll smoke off the front of those very tough Continental tires. Airing these things out over the big jumps. They'll hit them side by side. And two of the young, talented drivers, that is Zoe, Zoe Eatonholm, 
who's 20 years old, right alongside Ben Mayer. Hard to believe he's 13 years old. So nine here to go. Coming to eight to go, so we'll see if we see a caution flag here on the back side of the track. They'll throw a caution on the back side, group everybody up, give them a chance to, to cool these trucks down just a little bit. You've got to take care of the brakes. Keep in mind, same set of tires, same set of brakes they have to use all weekend. Ryan Beat now trying to hold off and charging number 55, VP Race Fuels, Gavin Harlan. Gavin Harlan drives right around, takes advantage of that run that he had off that turn one, two, three complex, then a little bit of draft as well. We go deeper in the pack. We see Matty Brabham still struggling to get around a couple of the trucks back there. He was our winner one day ago. And there's that mandatory caution that we were talking about. So they'll run the back half of this lap, give everything a chance to cool down. We'll regroup everybody, get them all nose to tail. Stanton Barrett pulling up alongside Zoe Edenholm. Might be conversing there just a little bit. Sign language sometimes is used in this form of racing. Gets the message across from time to time. And Cletus still out front. Cletus having a great run one round to go and out front here today. One point five million followers on Facebook for Cletus. That was a big moment there for Ryan Beat. Gathered that truck back up. Very quick hands inside of these things on a regular basis. And right here, that's where Zoe got into the back of Bill Hines and kind of opened up a door right there and checked up Stanton Barrett. And Ryan Beat was able to take advantage of that. The same scenario happened again to Zoe. And Ryan Beat was able to get around her as well. Final event here. By the way, you can watch the concert and the truck race at the same time. Big screen over there uh, at the concert. Of course, stay right there in the grandstands if that's where you're at and enjoy this second segment of this race. Again, another three and a half laps here. Mandatory caution and then a three lap shootout always provides for excitement at the end of these races. Green flag back out. Now Cletus is going to have some company. The 55 truck of Gavin Harlan leaning all over him. Staying in the draft right here. Shows him the outside. Looks back to the left side. Backs off here. No pressure here for Cletus. Needs to gather it back up. Make sure he makes the turn. Way to the inside. Really lost the arc. That opens up the bottom. Tries to pull it back over. Gavin tried to make a pass. Cletus getting back into him there as he tried to gather it back up. Gavin Harlan, Robert Stout battled at Mid-Ohio as tight as anybody can race. Both trucks came back without a scratch. He's an extremely talented and clean driver. Does not drive people hard or dirty. And wow, as soon as I say that, absolute chaos ensues between Gavin Harlan and Cletus. Now, I'm not sure who that was behind him. It might have been Ryan Bean. We'd have to go back and take another look. But first thing we want to do is make sure the driver is OK as Cletus is over on his side. Window net coming down, that's a great sign for sure. And I will tell you, this is a tall, tall dude. Minimum six foot six. Put your hands together for him, ladies and gentlemen. Cletus McFarland climbing out of the truck. Not how he wanted things to go here today, but has certainly proven he is very capable of driving one of these trucks. Known for the saying, hell yeah, brother, as we go back and 
Look again, and man, that was a massive hit out of the 55 truck that really started that whole chain reaction. Man, I, I'm just flabbergasted, to be quite honest with you. And Ryan Beat was that third truck in there, had to check up. The benefactor of all that was a number 83 of Matty Brabham. We'll see if he gets to keep that spot. And they're gonna turn this thing back over. Wouldn't surprise me if Cletus tries to get back in here and strap back in. By the way, if you're wondering, the trucks weigh in at 2,600 pounds as they try to push this thing back over. They're close. That was close. Got two more guys and they're there. Always drives that fun haver uh, logoed vehicle, be it a car or a truck, and they're going to hit this thing again and see if they can't get it over. Need one more guy back there. There you go, buddy. Big boy, come on. There they go, there they go. Ah, oh, there it is. And the fans go crazy. A lot of fluid out there underneath the truck as well. Something hanging down on the back, if it's a tube or just a piece of debris. So they'll give that uh, a once over. Not sure if it's raceable or not. They will make a decision. I'm sure some of the crew members will take a look there. Looks like he's going to walk away. Tough, tough go of it here for Cletus McFarland. Had such a good run one day ago. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time, put your hands together for that guy. He's an incredible promoter. Fabulous race car driver. As we talked about that massive following on Facebook, that doesn't happen by accident. His personality is absolutely second to none. Cletus McFarland, unfortunately, looks like his round six effort here will be cut a good bit short. So Stout out of this one, McFarland out of this one as well. Red flag here for the rest of the trucks as they got Cletus' truck turned back over. Matty Brabham in that number 83 Continental Tire back machine had inherited the lead when the three of those got together. He had that GoPro there on the side of the helmet for Cletus McFarland and uh, shot the entire race that he was in one day ago and was actually doing a little bit of commentating along with it. So many people watching, I think, uh, even as of last night, some 120,000 views of that uh, of that on board, that camera there that he had. So everybody, I promise you, you <laughs> You are on camera right now, and thousands and thousands will see you. Well, they love their Cletus McFarland and follow him intently. He's had some massive races with some of the absolute best behind the wheel. Coming out there to compete. Brian Deegan, Travis Pastrana. Event coming up here in Bristol, and just a few weeks as well. It'll be a big one for sure. Great to have him out here. Sorry he stays down early. Number 1776 up on the rollback, the flatbed, if you will. Matty Brabham with that legendary family name. Of course, his grandfather, Sir Jack Brabham, F1 champ. His father as well, Jeff Brabham, multi-time EMSA champ. Matter of fact, he and his father just ran a race together and won. There's also, the course, of the Brabham chassis as well. That entire family just engulfed in racing history at the highest levels. And Maddie's certainly an extremely talented driver. If you want to watch a smooth driver behind the wheel of one of these trucks, pick out one of his onboards. He'll show you uh, what looks to be extremely easy to do. I promise you it's not. 
out there in the Indy Lights race a little bit earlier today. Grabbed a win in that Indy Lights series at the season opener down in St. Pete. And by the way, the uh, the man behind that effort in a large degree is Mr. Bill Hines sitting back in there in that blue and yellow truck, the mastermind backed machine. Fabulous individual as well. As I talked about, it's been in the series for nine seasons now. Just grabbed a podium at Mid-Ohio. Over 125 starts for Bill Hines. Has competed in a number of different disciplines, but has been here with Stadium Super Trucks for a long time. Put your hands together for Cletus as he comes rolling by. Matty Brabham, Ben Mayer, and was talking about that 13-year-old going into the eighth grade. 11-time national karting champ and the youngest ever Supercarts USA Summer Nationals winner. If you're not familiar with the Supercarts, it is quite, um, it's arguably the toughest go-karting event, uh, certainly in the country, to win. It is a massive one-off show that happens typically out there in Las Vegas. So uh, quite an accomplishment for that young man to go out there and have that success at the Supercarts USA Summer Nationals. Run a number of different disciplines. In fact, uh, I believe what was Spec Miata that he won in at Mid-Ohio here just a few weeks ago. And then, of course, made his debut inside of that number 67 truck. Holiday Rambler sponsoring him. Family, a group of wonderful people. Great to have them out here with us. He has a bright future ahead of him here in motorsports. Ryan Beat sitting there in the number 51 truck. Looks like a little fiberglass damage there to the front of that one was the third truck in the middle of that mayhem. Gavin Harlan still running there, the 55 truck, a little bit further back, that VP Racing Fuels entry. Ryan B. competed in all three pro divisions at one time in the Lucas Oil Off-Road Racing Series. That might have been the course series, uh, going back a number of years, in fact, but uh, was competing in Pro Light, Pro 2, and Pro 4, all at the same time. Busy, busy driver at the time. Quite a fabricator, builds the trucks from the ground up. As I said, fielding a number of trucks for a number of different drivers now. That is his main line of work. A very talented race car driver. Zoe Eden home, the number 21 truck. Talking about her cutting her teeth in open wheel stuff in Formula 4. Really catching on here with the trucks, getting faster and faster. She gets more comfortable with the trucks. And the red flag has been pulled in. Yellow flag out. With that big incident, uh, things could change. We're supposed to have seven to go, but this is also a timed event if it goes too long. So we will have to find out what race control decides to do. A couple of events ago at Mid-Ohio. They were to run 11 laps. Race director told them to run 13 laps. They did to the checkered flag. Stout won it, but then was overruled by race director Jason Smith and said, no, the race was over at 11 laps. So they gave the win back to Gavin Harlan. Hard to say what's going to happen here until we see it happen. Green flag out. We are restarting Ryan Beat up front, so they made Matty Brabham give one spot back.
Gavin Harlan back there in looks like fourth place, fifth place as it stands right now. Right front fender blowing up there just a little bit for Ryan Beach. Shouldn't be a visual issue here at all. They've really secured the hoods on these trucks uh, this year with all of the uh, the contact that they have from time to time. And Beat misses it for sure, over-rotates it, but Matty Brablin does not get into the back of him. Ben Mayer trying to take advantage of Matty Brablin checking up a little bit, won't be able to get it done. Ryan Beat not inside of a truck since 2020, went out to Circuit of the Americas, was inside of one of these trucks. Doesn't have a whole lot of experience in him, despite all of his off-road racing experience. But came out here a day ago. He actually qualified really well and was very fast one round ago. Bill Hines driving hard down in here. Into that turn four, five, six, seven, and eight complex. They head back up over the Korean War Veterans Memorial Bridge. Get a big run down the hill. A little big hole in the air, drafting a huge part of this game here. Matty Brabham, very patient. It looks like Ben Mayer hanging on the back bumper. He is learning from two of the best. And here we go back up over the hill. Good run here for Ryan Beat. Matty not close enough right now to take advantage of it. Five to go here as the laps start to wind down. Top three staying the same. It is Ryan Beat, Matty Brabham, Ben Mayer. It's like that piece of fiberglass finally blew off. Impressive run here by Ben Mayer. Closing up on the back bumper is the 55 truck of Gavin Harlan. Oh, and out and around the ramp goes Matty Brabham because it looks like some sort of mechanical for the 51 truck. Ryan Beat struggling with something. I saw him looking down, and you can see the frustration there as he tries to get out of the way. So fast truck, our leader at the time with the mechanical. Some of the contact there you can see has knocked the, uh, the step off the side. That would not cause this truck to stop running, of course. Looking down there, trying to figure out what it might be to see if he could get this thing refired, but he's just going to pull it off out of the way, clear of the competition. Ryan beat stage done here early. That puts Matty Brabham out front. Didn't even have to scrap for it. And Ben Mayer right there on the back bumper, followed up by Gavin Harvey. Looks like they will throw a caution flag here. As they originally had discussed in the driver's meeting, and that should set up for a three-lap shootout. See if Gavin Harlan has anything up there for Matty Brabham. Can't count that 55 truck out just yet. Bill Hines will close up on the back of the 55. Then Zoe, of course, and Stanton Barrett.
They work their way back around here through turns 9, 10, and, of course, the final turn of 11. Back to the start finish here. Matty Bravo will pick the field back up to pace as he grabs that green flag. And we are off. Final three laps to go. First three trucks already driving away, putting a bit of a gap between themselves and fourth and fifth. That's Bill Hines and Zoe back there. Matty Brabham hard on the brakes there, protecting the bottom just a little bit. Ben Mayer hanging right in there. Here comes Zoe Edenhall. Nice job, Zoe. And Stan Barrett trying to get alongside her. Not going to happen. But Zoe gets around Bill Hines to pick up fourth place. Would be a career best for her here with Stadium Super Trucks. All three trucks in line here trying to take advantage of that draft. Ben Mayer right there in striking distance. Takes a look at the inside. He's thinking about it for sure. He's going to ease up on the brake. He's going to try to chop it off. Gets down underneath Matty Brabham. How about the 13-year-old taking the lead? Excellent job out of Ben Mayer going into eighth grade, and he takes over the lead here. Just a little bit more than two to go. Looks like Matty trying to come right back beside him. Winding this one up, just a couple of laps to go, and we did not see Max Gordon out here today. I'm not sure what happened there. It was not filled in on the backside of that story. Such a talented young man, such a talented young driver. Bright future ahead of him, of course, especially with his father's uh, teaching and training along the way. So we missed Max out, out here. He had a great battle a day ago. 67 truck still out front. Matty Brabham keeping him honest right here, putting the pressure on. Can the kid keep his composure? How about the third winningest driver in the history of the series right behind him and the fourth winningest driver in the history of the series right behind him? He's beating two of the best as it goes right now. One and a half laps to go. Can he keep the Holiday Rambler number 67 truck out front? Oh, makes a little bobble right there. Brabham's going to make him pay as they head up over the bridge. Side by side, they'll stall each other out there with that side draft for just a moment. You can see Bravo pull way to the side to try and get around that. Here comes Gavin Harlan. He's thinking about it right now. He's wanting a twofer. Gets around the 67 truck, and now up beside the 83. Here comes Gavin. Side by side off the ramp. VP Fuels, Continental Tire, Holiday Rambler. Ben Mayer right there in the thick of it, waiting for somebody to make a mistake. Still side by side. Both guys going to the break about the same time. Position to the 55 truck. Maddie not giving it up easily though. Coming to the white flag. Side by side they go. Ben Mayer right there in tow. If they stay side by side, Ben Mayer is going to get a huge run over the bridge. They finally get single file here through turns one, two, and then three. Then they head back up over the bridge. Last lap. Gavin Harlan trying to break a little bit of that draft. He and Matty starting to drive away a bit from the 67. Here they go side by side. That might help the 67 out of Ben Mayer. Matty Brabham takes a look. Can't get it done. Right up on the back bumper of Harlan. $10,000 on the line for the overall winner. 
coming into today's event, they were first and third in the points. They would be first and second now because in second was Max Gordon. Maddie Brabham up alongside the 55 truck. Here we go, the final half of this last lap. Rolling smoke, here comes the 55, trying to come back at him. Can he get it done? Ben Mayer right there on the outside, waiting for some sort of incident. Ben Mayer needs to stick the nose up in there, waiting as these guys go side by side again. What a great last two laps. Very reminiscent of what we saw here a year ago. Little bit of contact, that's nothing. All good, clean racing here between the 55 and the 83. The 55 edges forward with the smallest of advantages. Here comes the 83 back to the checkered flag. Side by side, they go again. And looks like it will be Gavin Harlan. What an incredible battle here over Matt Brabham by a mere eight hundredths of a second. Wow, what a battle between those two and an impressive run out of the Holiday Rambler number 67 entry of young Ben Mayer. Yeah, you see that replay right there, just how close it was. That is great stuff. So exciting right to the very end, and that's what that three-lap shootout sets up every time. So final results here, Gavin Harlan, Matthew Brabham, Ben Mayer, Stanton Barrett, Zoe Edenholm, Bill Hines, Max Gordon, Ryan Beat, Cletus McFarland, and Robert Stout out of this one early here. It was a tough break for those two as we wrap up round six here. So we'll head on over to the uh, to the winner's circle over there to the podium, introduce you to our top three players and the overall winners. We'll see you in just a couple of moments.
There's not Max, there was Zoe, and then the one other guy. Awesome stuff. Nice burnouts right at the very end. Always exciting. Unfortunately, a couple trucks down there. Typically, we would have a real barn burner right at the very end, but still an incredible battle there between the 55, the 83, and young Ben Mayer hanging right there learning from two of the absolute best. All right, let's get him up here. We'll kick it off here with third place. By the way, how they finished here in this race is also how they will finish in the overall. Doesn't matter, young man, pick away. You can jump up here as young as you are. 11-time karting champ, come on up here. It's his fourth start in one of these trucks. And certainly catching on here, my friend. Come on over here, buddy. Stay right here in the middle. Let's let everybody see you. already got a sunglass sponsor. Congratulations. 
Thank you. Great battle, man. Talk to me about that race. You were behind two really good drivers. Uh, I was in first at one point, and I saw them behind me. It got me a little nervous because I knew how good they were. And um, I was trying to keep it there, but I, oh, I think I made a mistake. I forgot which turn it was, but they got around me, and um, I got ended up getting third. And um, I love to thank all my sponsors: Honda Marine, Holiday Rambler, um, Puro Clean, Bowie Marine, uh, everyone who puts the show on, like all the the Speed Team, uh, Nashville for letting us do this, and Continental for the awesome tires. Awesome stuff! Put your hands together for Ben Mayer. Killing it up here. We have some very special trophy presenters, by the way, as well. Candace and Braden Field are here with us. We spoke about the F-26 truck that Stan Barrett was competing against and the loss of uh, their father and their grandfather. Great to have you out here. I'm glad you can make the trip. Thank you. Thank you very much. We're excited to be here. It's been a wonderful weekend. Very special. Thanks, buddy. Thank you. So let's get our second place competitor up here as well. Thought he would get back around him. He's absolutely one of the best that this series has seen. He's a three-time and reigning champ. Put your hands together for the driver of the number 83 Continental Back Machine, Matty Brabham. Come on up here, brother. Yeah, let him hear it. What a battle, man. Those last two laps between you and Harlan been out there leading both of you guys. I was like, well, here we go. Yeah, I mean, it was, it, was, uh, it was an awesome race. I mean, it, it doesn't happen like that very often, but uh, Gavin and I just uh, put on a show there. I mean, we were racing hard. I mean, obviously, um, he's going for the championship, and, and I didn't want to wreck because I was uh, trying to get the overall win for the weekend, which I managed to get. So, uh, yeah, big thank you to Continental Tires. And, and Stadium Super Truck, Speed Energy, and then obviously all the fans that stuck around. I mean, sorry about all those delays, but it, it was awesome seeing you guys out there in the stands. And we can hear you in these trucks, you know, especially under those competition cautions. It's nice and quiet, and I, I can hear you guys screaming. So big thank you to everyone that came to this event and really supported us. Yeah, cheers, appreciate it. Great effort for this guy. Also a solid outing there in the Indy Lights car. Congratulations on a good day, brother. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, I really appreciate Continental Tire for putting me in this weekend. It wasn't a good weekend in the lights, but it was a good weekend in that thing. So thank you so much to Continental Tire, Stadium Super Trucks, and everyone that supports me. Appreciate it. We'll talk about that big bank. He's going to win here in just a couple of moments. First, we want to talk about our winner here because, oh, we got my bad here. We're going to hand out that plaque one more time. Candace and Braden Fields. We'll hand out that second place plaque. And Gavin Harlan will be coming up here next. Gavin took a little bit of time off. He went back to school, got his degree, wanted to come back out here and play in race trucks. He's as good as they come. Had a great battle here today. You and Maddie put on a show. Gavin Harlan, nice hit, brother. Yeah, that was a hell of a race. I mean, first off, let me say I didn't mean to flip Cletus. That was totally not intentional. But yeah, I had to go to the back, uh, work my way back up. Me and Maddie battled it out. Ben did an amazing job. Uh, thank you to all the fans. Nashville has been great to me. The city's amazing. I want to come back here every year. And uh, yeah, I'm super happy with my VP Racing Fields truck and getting the win. And couldn't be happier with the points I came out with this weekend. So thank you, everybody, for coming out. From the back to the front twice, not an easy task. No, definitely not. I mean, usually you only have to do it once, especially if you qualify well. Yesterday, I was lucky enough to start up front and kind of sit there the whole time. But today, I had my work cut out for me for sure. I had to go front, back, front again, but uh, couldn't be happier with how I went. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner of round six, Mr. Gavin Harlan. And once again, Candace and Braden will present him with that number one plaque. Get your cameras out, take some pictures. We're not done yet. We still have some bigger plaques to hand out here and some money as well to help us out with that are going to be a couple of Nashville's very own. The lovely ladies are here. Come on up, girls, and bring those plaques with us. We'll switch things around a little bit. Young Ben Mayer will finish up in third place overall for the weekend. And then we'll swap, we'll swap positions here for the overall. We'll put... Gavin Harlan in second, and Matty Brabham up top, the $10,000 winner here for the weekend. 
and Nashville's very only lovely ladies there as well. You've got to give him his plaque. He'll beat you up. <laughs> and that number one trophy going up to Maddie Brabham. She's going to keep that one, Maddie. I mean, you're going to keep one. That's the one you want to keep. <laughs> Put your hands together for him, Nashville. The top three here in Stadium Super Trucks this weekend. Thanks for sticking around. We appreciate everything you fans have been through here today. It's been a long one for sure, so we appreciate all of your passion and support. Enjoy the concert. It's going on over there, and have a great Sunday evening. All right, thank you, Ken Stout. We congratulate those on the podium for Stadium Super Trucks. Matthew Brabham, the winner. Overall this weekend, Gavin Harlan and young Ben Meyer there as well. What a great way to wrap things up in the 2022 edition of the Big Machine Music City Grand Prix. The concert with Brantley Gilbert is already underway. Carly Pierce also on the bill. 